Hey guys, welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today, I am sharing my entryway decorated for spring. Now, I know many of you may say, Barbara, you already showed us that space, and I did, but if you remember, I wasn't very happy with the way it turned out. So, I had an itch to switch, and here we are. So, I was looking for a gold mirror, and I was having a hard time finding one. But when I saw this one at Home Goods, I went ahead and picked it up because it had the um, scalloped edge on top and I like the gold frame. And so this is the start of my entry table. Okay, and so next I'm going to add some flowers. I always like to have flowers in the entryway and so I'm adding this vase, which I think really complements the um, gold frame. And if you saw my last video, I mentioned to you guys that I love long stems. And so I found these several years ago in the Goodwill. And if you've watched my channel long enough, you've probably heard me say that before. And so, yeah, I just like this pretty look. Um, initially, when I shared the entry hall, I had some green buds and those were pretty, but now it's time to bring out the flowers. Okay, then next I'm going to add books and I just need a little height over here to add a little small vase. And so since I have the white flowers and there's not much color, I wanted to go ahead and add a little color here in a simple uh, rose. So I have the books that are in a light and dark gray color, which brings in the other colors in the living room and dining room. And then I'm just adding a little pop of color in the pink room. And then bringing the gold forward with a gold vase. And then to add a little texture, I'm coming in with my beads. I know there's a love-hate relationship with the beads, so use them if you like them and don't use them if you don't like them. Okay, so next, I'm going to bring in some candle holders. And these candle holders, you guys did see on my um, dining room tablescape in the last video. And if you didn't see that video, I will link it at the end of this one so that you can catch it because many of you guys like it. I switched the dining room just a little bit and I'll share that with you um, at the end of the video. So basically, we're done with this area. I just wanted, um, obviously I wanted the drama with the white flowers and then I wanted a little color with the pink and then adding a, the moss to the glass uh, candle holders. I think added just a little bit more color. If you guys know me, I'm not real big on color. So this is a very nice and subtle look for me. Okay, so now let's see the changes that I made in the dining room. Okay, so this look versus the look yesterday 
is more calm. Now this is something that you can leave out every day, whereas the one yesterday, I mentioned that it would be great for a luncheon or a brunch during you know, the springtime or for Easter. I don't typically set my table every day. So this look is very calm and it's serene in my opinion. And it's something that you could leave up for every day if that was something that you desired to do. Or if you like something just a little bit less, you can just remove the dishes and then leave the centerpiece as is. And if you stay until the end, you will see why I couldn't leave the previous tablescape up until Easter. So thanks for watching. And guys, keep your bell notifications turned on because you never know if I pop up another video this weekend or early next week. I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Don't, baby, this is what I'll do.